Okay, peeps, we are here again. My name is Scabbard. We are continuing the Quantum Break series by watching yet another episode. I don't have much time left. I know. I spent 17 years working it out, planning it, building Monarch, because I knew what was coming, and I knew it couldn't be stopped. But what I've built has been turned against me. What is the point in saving them if I can't trust them? <sighs> I'm slipping away into pain and rage. The sickness is accelerating. The CFR. It has cost me so much. But I have harnessed its power. And with it, my plan will work. With it, I will keep the lights on when the world goes dark. Mr. Serene, sorry to disturb you, sir, but I have that cleanup report on Dr. Kim's lab you wanted. Meet me in my office, soldier. I'll be there when I've sealed the CFR chamber. Okay, so we have to... I forgot we have to make a... Control or a surrender? My treatment's all gone. First things first. Seal the chamber. The chronon field regulator. William's precious countermeasure. Need to keep it safe at all costs. The lifeboat depends on it. So you can see he's kind of trudging along, kind of like, eh, 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 oh yeah, eh. He's weak. So, what's all this nonsense? What's all this noise? Oh, I gotta push the button. <laughs> Don't worry. He, he's a little bit, uh, see, as his body goes, his mind kind of goes with it, you see. CFR has been secured. Uh, Mr. Serene, I'm in your office. I'll be right there. Serene out. The soldier doesn't know how close to the end I am. Oh no! I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of becoming the enemy. What that would mean for me, for the plan. I can feel it infesting my thought. Ah! I don't know who to trust anymore. <laughs> oh, this is getting crazy! I, I... I don't know. Martin Hatch. He used me all these years. How deep does this betrayal run? How many more are there? They, they wanted the lifeboat to fail. Why? What's their agenda? Sir? Be right with you, son. Son? Jeez, I didn't realize that he earned that right. This is a pretty cool place, by the way. Well, let's look at this. What's this all about? So this is a huge timeline. Until the end. Interesting. I spent years living in the past. Living in the safety of knowing what happens next. Years of planning. Building. It's all come to this. So January 5th of 2021 is the end of time. Is that what that said? I need to go look at that again. I kind of want to like read all this, but it just takes so much time. So what does it say under there? January 5th, 2021. Solution to fracture. Earliest estimated delivery. 17 subjective years after EOT. Phase 3 complete end of time prep. Just before January 5th. So what? Oh, man. Okay, he's walking pretty normally now. He's just walking super nuggety slow. Man. Can I grab a drink first? Maybe I'm a little bit thirsty. He's got a cool little telescope there to look into the city. Report. Sir, you ordered us to search the demolished lab. Your treatments were destroyed, but there was one left. 
The casing appears to be broken, but uh, it's all we could find. One of my treatments. But it's damaged. Is it safe to use? Uh, sir? I didn't catch that. Or is it a trap? Another betrayal. The treatment will make me weak. Is that what they want? Can any of them be trusted? Okay, whoa, okay, let, let's show control, okay. I'm not a traitor. We're the same now. And I need your help. I can focus on the mission. The lifeboat. See it through to the end. I still have allies I can trust. Look, you have to realize you're not going to keep me from getting the CFR. Last chance to walk away, Joyce! Liam Burke. He would fight to defend us. To slow Jack down. The plan could still work. So that... Hmm. Liam. Interesting that that's what he would choose to do. You know, join Paul Serene. L let's, let's look at uh, Surrender. You have all betrayed me. Assured my downfall. And now... I will assure yours. My world will be renewed. My world will see balance. Chaos. It's falling apart. They're working against me. They're fighting each other. You'll need to get to Serene's office. He's got direct access to the CFR. Alright? Joyce fixes the fracture. He fixes the world. Now we'll all have it. Charlie Wincott. Another weakling. A traitor siding with Jack. I can make them suffer. All of them. Okay! I, 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 I don't know, man. Serene holds on to his reason in the final effort to see his plan through. Serene stops fighting his Cronon Syndrome. He loses faith in his plan and Monarch. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Um, 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 um. Oh, man, I have no idea. Serene holds on to his reason in a final effort to see his plan through. Serene stops fighting his Cronin Syndrome. Okay, th this is my thought. And I'm choosing this because I'm, I'm imagining I'm Paul Serene. So Paul Serene uh, is paranoid. And he knows that he's weakened by doing his Cronin treatment. However, because he's paranoid right now... Oh, this is hard though, because if he surrenders... I mean, he, he needs his treatment to stay alive. But... Serene holds on to his reason in a final effort to see his plan through. Serene... <laughs> Actually, no, 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 no. I'm changing my mind. I think that Paul finally... I think he would finally give up. Serene stops fighting his Cronin Syndrome. We lose his faith in his plan and Monarch. I think he's seen enough and things are going so badly that he may just be like, you know what, screw it. But we're going to do that. I, I, I think that's what he would do. Sir? Are, are you alright? Who put you up to this? Sir, you ordered us to go through Dr. Kim's lab. Find what we can- Who are you working for? You, sir! Liar! What the fuck?!
Oh no. Oh, I chose what most people wouldn't. Interesting, I've done pretty well so far. So a couple of the decisions have been, you know, kind of uh, back and forth. However, oh man. You know what? I, d I don't want to see Liam die, however, it looks like Liam would die anyway. Uh, but I'm gonna live by my choices. So, oh man, let's just continue, I guess. Man! Paul Sawin's become unhinged. What about my treatments? He's triggered a catastrophe. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. And this is where we come in. Good evening, Dr. Adderall. Five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. I've come to free you, my friend. It's time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infinite. What was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit minutes before the explosion. Sophia's loyal. If the fracture's happening now, I owe this to her. Dr. Holden? Protocol's been initiated. Liam? Yeah. So I have some information about Morton Hatch. I want him apprehended immediately. No way. How did he do that? Dr. Emerald, are you Where's hurt? Paul? I need to speak with Paul. Right this way. You initiated it. Paul, look at you. You need your treatment. I don't need anything! Listen to me. The time machine was different than Monarch's. It was William's original. I had a chance to examine its main board. There were key elements in its design that were blatantly different from ours. <laughs> the accident, it, it, it wasn't an accident. These were the very changes that William was so agitated over. He was warning us. It was him, Paul. It was Martin. He wanted the fracture to happen. Go to the lifeboat. They'll need you. What about you, Paul? I have to get to the swimming hall. Paul. Now, Sophia! Go!
Hello, darling. Defense status. Active. What? It's right under me. You owe me one. Classy. Come on, Fiona. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, pick up. Pick up. Beth, I don't know if you can hear this, but it's Fiona. I need your help. Do you copy? It's Fiona, do you copy? Beth, it didn't work. I'm sorry. I couldn't find the protocol. Yes, you're speaking. This is Jack Joyce. Beth told me you were working together. You might be the only ally I have left. What happened? Serene. There wasn't anything I can do, but Fiona, there is something we can do now. I need to find something we'll call the countermeasure. It's 12 sided, small, metallic, like a soccer ball. The CFR. The what? The chronon field regulator. That is the countermeasure. And it can fix the fracture. Basement five.
we need to talk. Look, I was wrong, okay? Jack Joyce, we... He can use the CFR to fix the fracture. We need to get it to him. CFR is what's powering this place right now, be honest. But I spoke to him. I spoke to Jack Joyce, and he needs it. Just, if you, if you let Joyce use the CFR, then that means the lifeboat's gone. No, 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 that's not, no that's these not people the... down here, they can figure it out. They can fix the fracture. That's what you wanted these in the people, first place. These people, this is Monarch, okay? They're the ones that got us into this. Do you think they give a shit about any of us? I mean, you realize what you're asking. What's the plan once we get to Monarch? We need to find a way onto the lifeboat. We know where the CFR is, but... Jack, it's Charlie, listen. It's at the top of the Monarch Tower, so you gotta follow my instructions exactly. Jack. Jack? Jack. Jack. Fiona, stop. Jack! No, no, no. Look. That area up there is insanely secure. He's not gonna be able to get in. Hey, 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 wait! Wait. I need to finish this. I know, but I'm the one that should go. The CFR defenses. There's no way he's gonna be able to get past them alone. I'm the only one. I mean, you belong down here. You actually would be useful. I'm dead weight. Just, I'm a glorified locksmith. Why don't you let somebody else be the hero? Okay, tough chick? Everyone needs IT, Charlie. Fuck you. Hey, Charlie. You're an okay date. I know. in this existence. My enemies, some have shown their faces, others are still out there, and I think of all of you.
No, no, three times you fucked me. I know that. What it looks Get like. Get on the but ground. Not... On the ground. Look, I'm a coward. All right. I have to look after myself. <laughs> Who else is gonna do it, huh? Well, what I'm doing right now, where I'm going, it's not about me. You said you would get us on that list. Yeah, I know that's what I said, but plans the have list, changed. The Charlie! Joyce can fix the fracture! You're running out of words, Charlie. I am. That's what you care about, right? Right? I mean, that's what you're doing this for, huh? huh? That's why you left everything in Monarch for your family. And for what? So you could raise your kids in a glorified basement? Because that's all the lifeboat's gonna be. I mean, Serene's lost his mind. If the lifeboat was the answer, don't you think I would be on it? Hmm? I mean, listen to this guy. He's insane. See? Okay? Hey! Okay, okay. Joyce fixes the fracture, he fixes the world, we all go home happy. But I have to help him, and I can't do that if you kill me. If you're wrong about this... I know, don't worry. I'll shoot myself. Lose the harness. I get it, you know, we have trust issues. Whatever. An army with the power to prove to the world that you can travel this road, you can prevail. Liam. Drop it. I'm pissed right now, by the way. Open it. I can't do that. Understand something, Charlie. This world, you know, this world is at its end. But one world's end is merely another's beginning, and my world will be renewal. My world will see balance. Uh, let me let me see what I can do for you. Can you? Uh...
Stop it, stop it. You need to say this to me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I did this for us. I did this for us. I did it. I did it for us. I just I never knew what we could be. I knew it was selfish. Shh, don't you? I'm only sorry I didn't have to get sooner. Just hang on. I'd give anything for that year. I'd give anything for that year. Burke? Let's try this again. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. Come on. I won't turn off. Shouldn't we go? Huh? Oh. We gotta be away. Stutterproof. What? I have to help Jack Joyce. Hey, come here. What's your name? Uh, em Emily. 
Emily what? Burke? Uh, Emily Burke. Okay. I'm putting your name on the list for the lifeboat. Look, you gotta go take the elevator all the way down. You'll know when you see it. Yeah. All right? I got it. Once you get down there, I want you to find Fiona Miller for me, okay? Can you do that? Yeah. Tell her what happened here. Tell her this world, it's a weird place. Nah. There's always gonna need people like her to help understand it. And then I'm gonna help make it right. Help keep it going. Tell her. I finally feel connected. Okay, so <clears throat> multiple feelings, kind of pissed, kind of happy. Feel what you want to feel. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. We're going to continue this story and its ridiculous times in the next one. Thank you so much. <laughs>